This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Tonight on the South Today, the government's ban on Chinese travellers is expected to hit Otago's tourism retailers in the pocket. Alton John's tour manager says his job is doing everything imaginable and then some as Sir Alton arrives in Dunedin. And Dunedin musician Frank Humphreys is busking to raise funds for Australian bushfire relief. Kia ora, good evening. I'm Simon Anderson. The government's ban on Chinese travellers is expected to hit Otago's tourism retailers in the pocket. A ban on foreign travellers leaving or who are transiting through mainland China comes during busy Chinese New Year period. Otago's tourism operators, including Puzzling World and Wanaka, are readying themselves for the impact of the government's ban on travellers from China. The ban, which the government hopes will stop the spread of the coronavirus to New Zealand, is expected to be in place for at least two weeks. It would be over $8,000 worth of cancellations we've, we've had so far, um, but unfortunately this is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, now that the uh, borders have been closed to Chinese tourists coming in, um, I see that sort of only getting worse, unfortunately. As the outbreak is coinciding with the Chinese Lunar New Year, New Zealand and Otago's tourism market could be hard hit by the ban. I guess the course over a year, they might mark up as much as 20% of our business. Over this time of year, Chinese New Year, it could be as much as 70 to 80% of the business. So yeah, for us, um, this, uh, this crisis is, is certainly cutting a bit deep. It's not only tourism that's feeling the impact of the outbreak. Otago Chamber of Commerce Chief Executive Dougal McGowan said the ripple effects of the virus and the temporary ban are already being felt across the south. Yeah, we've seen some immediate effects already uh, with some businesses, particularly in the export sector. They're going to struggle to get their, their um, produce to market. McGowan says some businesses, including rock lobster exporters, were already finding it difficult to get products into China, and the number of international students coming from China were already being impacted. And one of the key factors here is understanding how long this event might go for. You know, two, three weeks, businesses can be relatively resilient. When it gets to six months, you know, we've got to start looking for alternative markets. Um, it could be that people get laid off work, so that could have a negative effect on the, on the local economy, but also on the national economy. Spear says even though the business is staffed to cope with the normal number of customers for this time of the year, there is still plenty for his employees to do. Uh, we're not looking to lay off any staff, that's, that's not required. Uh, there's plenty of work to do uh, for them uh, outside of just serving the customers. So far there have been more than 14,000 confirmed cases of the virus. In Wanaka, the South today. Dunedin musician and former Straight Jackets Fitz band member Andrew Bruff has died. Police confirmed they were attending a death in North East Valley, but it is not being treated as suspicious. Andrew Bruff was a member of several Dunedin bands before his time in Straight Jacket Fitz from 1986 to 1992. After he left Straight Jacket Fitz, he formed Bike and continued to produce melodic pop songs before the group split around the year 2000. Tributes have been flowing online across social media for Bruff since the news broke off, broke of his passing this morning. Alton John's tour manager says his job is everything, doing everything imaginable and then some. The pop singer is set to take the stage at Dunedin's Forsyth Bar Stadium tonight at one of 300 concerts on his final world tour. Arriving at Dunedin's airport, Sir Elton John is here for his last ever concert at the Forsyth Bar Stadium tonight. His tour manager, DC Parmet, is making sure the stadium's all set up and a pop singer won't have a worry in the world. You know, if he wants Perrier in the dressing room or if he wants grape coupon mustard, you know, we, we take care of him, so his only concern is going out and entertaining. The stadium has seen some big acts over the last few years, such as Ed Sheeran and Roger Waters, and tonight's is close to being sold out. Parmet has been managing Sir Elton's tours for the past 20 years, but his involvement with the star dates back to much earlier. I was a fan since I was a kid. The first album I ever got was Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and I had all the cassettes, I had the CDs, I had the downloads. Whatever came out I bought because I was a huge Elton fan, he was one of the artists that really shaped my musical tastes. 
This is Sir Elton's final world tour with about 120 concerts of the 300 still to go and plenty more chances for Parmet to apply his well-honed skills as a tour manager. A lot of it is anticipation and I hate to use, you know, business uh, I hate to use business uh, business speak, but it's just making sure you know that Elton's taken care of so all he has to do is worry about perform. The gates to the show have opened in the past half hour, with the opening act Tate Sheridan expected on stage at 6.30. In Dunedin, the South today. Heavy rain continues to drench much of the South, resulting in flooding, road closures and evacuations. A state of emergency has been declared in Southland. One metre of rain fell in just over two days in Fiordland, with raging floods causing road slips, cutting access to the tourist hotspot. While the rain has now eased, the evacuation of about 200 tourists trapped in Milford Sound has been delayed until tomorrow due to weather conditions. Around 70 people located on the Tiano side of Homer Tunnel were evacuated by helicopter. There are flood warnings across the south, with many main roads being affected. Roads closed due to flooding include State Highway 6 from Kingston to Lumsden and State Highway 1 from Gore to Clinton. There are still significant amounts of rain expected over the next 24 hours on top of the rain that has fallen over the last two days. A Dunedin musician is busking to raise funds for Australian bushfire relief. Frank Humphreys is no stranger to using his skills to help others facing disastrous situations. A local musician is raising funds for Australian bushfire relief. Inspired by Elton John's contribution of $1 million, he's taken his music to the streets of Dunedin. That's what it's all about, helping, as the sign says, helping our Australian mates in the Anzac spirit. Humphreys has used his music to raise thousands of dollars over the past two decades. At this point in time, I've raised uh, Eleven $1 hundred dollars plus what what we see here at the start of the day. On the dark of the bay. I'm probably like just everybody else. I think it's an absolute tragedy. The wildlife is being uh, whittled away dramatically. I just feel that I can do a little bit. So that that's as simple as that. I enjoy music, and I know that everybody else enjoys music, and uh, we just use it as a vehicle. In this, in this instance, to, to, to raise funds. It is a worry for the future generations, you know, got grand, grandchild and you think about that and you worry about how it's going to get tackled, how it may be tackled, if it can be tackled. we just got to live in hope that uh, it, it's going to improve and not progressively do what it's doing around the world. He says people have been incredibly generous and it doesn't hurt when they know the lyrics either. In Dunedin, the South Today. Still to come on the South Today, we meet a Dunedin artist with a penchant for colour and if you're stuck halfway down a cliff, who are you going to call? Lion Rescue. Find out more after the break. Lana Castle is proud to showcase their new retail space. Simply purchase an annual garden pass for year-round access to the garden, cafe and gift shop or apply for a host card giving you full access to the castle, ballroom, cafe, gift shop and garden when accompanied by a full paying guest. Check out the website for full terms and conditions. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell menswear, it fits! When it's time to say goodbye to your pet, Heaven Sent Pet Cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience. 
Call Heaven Sent Pet Cremations today for their care and guidance. Phone 489-2274. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. Garador Dunedin, delivering quality, stylish garage doors in Dunedin for over 17 years. New doors, replacement doors and maintenance are all part of Garador's quality service. Garador Dunedin offers a full range of modern quality doors to suit any home. Come visit the team. A poorly maintained heat pump can lose up to 35% of its output. The Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner team are experts. Their specially developed chemical wash is totally biodegradable. Call Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner and get the job done by the professionals. If you're suffering from sciatica, lower back pain, hips and pelvis and knees, this technique will work wonders for you. The energy flow is transmitting through the muscles. Come and see Sunny Chin. You've seen us in the street, now find us online. Check out shopon.org.nz. We have all sorts of treasures, from retro and vintage clothing to antiques, homewares and accessories. New items added every week. We're open 24-7. Episodes of Put Some Colour in Your Life are now screening on Channel 39. Take a look at Australian artists and the techniques they use in their studio. Put Some Colour in Your Life, Tuesdays, 7.30. No my no, welcome back. Sawyer's Bay based artist Jim Cooper has a flair for flamboyance, creating colourful ceramic works. Otago Museum is hosting an installation of Cooper's work, which was inspired by his 2016 residency in Denmark. Captivated by colour. Tourists stopping in their tracks, taken in by the Dunedin artist Jim Cooper's new installation at Otago Museum. One admiring couple even having their photo taken by the artist. Cooper says this collection of work comes after a residency with students in Denmark, and then having space to play with his own work. After I'd made the work, I just took like six months to play with it in the studio. Not taking it seriously, just arranging and rearranging until mm, I felt that I'd mm, taken what I could from it. The Otago Museum collects and displays ceramics including work from New Zealand ceramicists. The museum's head of exhibitions and collections, Craig Scott, says Jim Cooper is an internationally recognised ceramic artist and they're pleased to be showing his new installation. Cooper says this collection, called Number 9, work made in a number nine year, was inspired by travel. I'd come back from overseas and um, a few experiences that just mean I wanted to pull back from showing and just do what I wanted to do in the studio. Always there's another voice, you know, it's somebody. While retaining his usual exuberance and spontaneity, the exhibition veers away from the cartoonish and sometimes comical figures he's known for. Cooper says his process is born out of chaos without a clear goal of an end result. Because I work in, in a lot of chaos, I like what happens when Whatever you're doing blends with your immediate environment. There's a communication that kicks into place and um, you know two or three strings of beads and that drawing on the wall go quite nice together so we'll just make a few more and do a few more drawings and put something on the floor. You know, I like, I like to work in that way. I never have a real plan. I only ever have a start, you know. Otago Museum say they're thrilled to share the work of one of New Zealand's pre-eminent ceramic artists with the public. This free installation will be in place until early August and can be found on the museum's second level. In Dunedin, the South Today.
If you're stuck halfway down a cliff face or trapped down an industrial chimney, never fear. There's a rescue team available 24-7. The Dunedin Lions Rescue Crew want the public to know there's always a team on call to help retrieve people trapped in high and hard to access places. Not a job for the faint-hearted. Level 3 firefighter Joe Begley descends into a chimney stack at the former Cadbury factory. Dunedin Station Officer Blair Harkis says there's at least 16 Level 3 line crew members in Dunedin, meaning there's always at least one team available for high wire rescues. We divide them into four watches, so there's uh, at least four on a, on a crew. There should be on the four on at any one time. And um, our role there is just to, to respond to any um, situation where um, there's, a, there's a need for a, like a stretcher, um, um, rescue off a cliff or something like that. Uh, anywhere there needs to be haulage, well they have to be pulled and lifted up. Several times in recent years have seen the Level 3 teams retrieve people from cliff faces where helicopter access was not practical, such as the rescue of a German tourist at Tunnel Beach in 2018. Harkis says the fire brigade's hundred or so other members are trained to level two, meaning they can at least access and stabilise people needing rescuing from giddy heights. There might be a person down a cliff, they can go down, um, access them, stable and see how they are. Um, and if they can take them, um, take them down, they can take them down, but they're not, they're not able to take them back up again. So if they need to be hauled up the cliff, they'll need to call on what's called a level three team so we can respond. Fortunately, it's not every day that people need to be retrieved from cliff sides, but there's still a big element of training necessary to ensure the teams are ready to go when called upon. The Level 3 crew also prepare for specific scenarios, such as tourists getting stuck in the Queenstown gondolas. Uh, that was really good, and uh, obviously liaising with the, the uh, gondola crews and the, and the people that do that, so our role there. They, they can get them out of the gondolas, and our role was to uh, get them off the, the side of the hill. So it's a bit of a challenge in itself. Yeah. Taking over from a role previously done by the New Zealand Police, there's now line rescue teams in Dunedin, Christchurch, Wellington, Hamilton and Auckland ready at any time to extract people from precarious heights. In Dunedin, the South Today. After the break on the South Today. We have vision of a serious collision between two trucks down south and this weather, eh? When's it going to get better? Find out after the break. All new episodes of Put Some Colour in Your Life are now screening on Channel 39. Take a look at Australian artists and the techniques they use in their studio. Put Some Colour in Your Life, Tuesdays, 7.30. In every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell menswear, it fits. Lana Castle is proud to showcase their new retail space. Simply purchase an annual garden pass for year-round access to the garden, cafe and gift shop, or apply for a host card giving you full access to the castle, ballroom, cafe, gift shop and garden when accompanied by a full paying guest. Check out the website for full terms and conditions. Step into Shop on Carol and discover a shop full of treasures. We have a fantastic range of vintage and retro clothes, upmarket clothing labels, collectible items, beautiful jewellery, quality linen and the best range of vintage haberdashery. Step into Op Shop on St Andrew and discover a place with plenty of bargains for yourself, your friends and the whole family. We have new items arriving every day. Visit us for a fabulous range of economy and upmarket clothing, accessories, books, shoes and more. Shop with us and support your community. A poorly maintained heat pump can lose up to 35% of its output. The Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner team are experts. Their specially developed chemical wash is totally biodegradable. Call Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner and get the job done by the professionals. Garador Dunedin, delivering quality stylish garage doors in Dunedin for over 17 years. New doors, replacement doors and maintenance are all part of Garador's quality service. 
Garador Dunedin offers a full range of modern quality doors to suit any home. Come visit the team. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. When it's time to say goodbye to your pet, Heaven Sent Pet Cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience. Call Heaven Sent Pet Cremations today for their care and guidance. Phone 489 2274. Thanks for staying with us. A pair of trucks crashed on State Highway 1 between Milton and Balclutha this morning, leaving one lane of the road blocked. Police were called to the scene just after 8am at the intersection of Station and Co Roads. The trucks comprised an articulated RD1 petrol tanker and a small truck carrying concrete troughs. A police officer at the scene said no injuries had occurred. One lane of traffic was blocked and drivers were asked to take care and follow directions of emergency services until the road was cleared. And now recapping tonight's top stories on the South today. The government's ban on Chinese travellers is expected to hit Otago's tourism retailers in the pocket following the coronavirus outbreak. Alton John's tour manager says his job is doing everything imaginable and then some as Sir Elton arrives in Dunedin until wet afternoon. And Dunedin musician Frank Humphreys is busking to raise funds for Australian bushfire relief after being inspired by Sir Elton John. And now for a look at what's happening in tomorrow's ODT, we welcome Craig Page. Kia ora Craig. Good evening. Yeah, two big items obviously in tomorrow's paper, uh, the first being Elton John, mm -hmm. um, as you mentioned, touched down for a private jet from Sydney this afternoon. Um, huge crowd expected down at the stadium today, mm. but usually when we've got big concerts in town, we sort of expect people to be uh, gathering in the octagon, having a few drinks in preparation, but the weather's put a bit of a dampener on that. Yeah. Um, they're all trudging down in jackets and umbrellas <laughs> as we speak, so um, heaviest rains expected um, between 9 and 10, apparently this evening, up to around 60 minutes within that hour period, so um, it's going to get a bit noisy in the stadium at some stage. Um, we also catch up with uh, Auckland woman Cassie Roma, who's down from, as I mentioned, from Auckland, and this is a 22nd Elton John concert, a um, bit of a super fan there. Um, so we'll have a full wrap of that concert uh, tomorrow in tomorrow's paper and on our yep. website throughout the evening as well. So, And of course the other big issue is the weather, um, pretty miserable out there. State of emergency declared in Southland this mm. afternoon. Um, Lots of road closures, lots of slips. Uh, State Highway on near Gore's closed and expected to be throughout the evening with flooding and there's uh, vehicles trapped in slips near Kingston as well. Um, just continued fears as the rivers continue to rise as well. Um, yeah, so we've effectively had three days of rain in some of these parts. So not a good look really. Again, we'll have that updated throughout our website with road closures as well so mm -hmm. people can keep an eye out on that. On our fresh food pages, uh, we look at fi uh, picnic food uh, with a twist with Annabelle Langbein, so not your usual picnic fare, I have to say. And on the sporting front, um, the Highlanders, of course, we're counting down to Friday when they, they start right. their Super Rugby campaign. We catch up with uh, former co-captain Ash Dixon, who's, who's having another season with the Highlanders. And also the Masters Games in full swing. We've got a, a full page and plenty of coverage of that as well. Great, Craig. Thank you. Thank you. Time now for a look at the weather. Tonight's weather proudly brought to you by Mole Map. Starting with the southern view, a bike in rain in North Dunedin this afternoon. To the situation, today's rainy weather system will move away tonight with a cool southwesterly airflow blowing over the region tomorrow. Further cold fronts will arrive tomorrow night and on Thursday with some showers and cold southwesterly winds for most areas. Starting off at the northwest of the South Island, Greymouth and Westport are looking at cloudy skies and 17 degrees.
across the northeast, Nelson and Blenheim, you can both expect clouds and 22 degrees. Moving down to Canterbury, Kaikoura and Christchurch have cloudy skies and 17 degrees. Ashburton is also due to be a bit cloudy and aims for a high of 19. To the southern towns, Balclutha, Lumsden and Gore are all looking at strong southeasterlies with heavy rain and just 17 for you all. The Catlins is marginally warmer on 18 degrees. Heading to central Otago, which looks like the place to be in Te Waipunamu. Wanaka and Queenstown are both set for moderate westerlies and fine weather, while Alexandra should reach 20. Tiano, you head for 16 degrees with strong southwesterlies and rain. To the northern towns, on the coast first, Timaru and Oamaru should expect southwesterlies dying out, mostly fine and 17 degrees. Looking inland, Twizel and Omarama are due for moderate westerlies, fine weather and 19 degrees. In Dunedin, rain clearing later tonight with strong southwesterlies easing and an overnight low of 8. Becoming fine and sunny tomorrow morning with moderate cold southwesterlies, some cloud developing during the afternoon and becoming just a little milder as winds tend light northerly, a high of 17 and a low of 13. Often cloudy on Thursday with a few scattered light showers at times but dry periods too, moderate to fresh cool southwesterlies, a high of 14 and a low of 9 degrees. and in Invercargill, becoming fine tonight with an overnight low of 8 degrees. Fine and sunny first tomorrow with moderate southwesterlies, but cloud increasing and some showers developing during the afternoon with westerly winds freshening, a high of 16 and a low of 11. Cloudy on Thursday with showers and fresh cold southwesterlies, a high of 14 and a low of 8 degrees. That's the news this Tuesday. For the latest news from the southern region, head online to odt.co.nz and follow Channel 39 on Facebook and YouTube. Have a great evening. Ka kitano. This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.